It's Friday, November 15th, and as I follow the news to see what's going on in this country, I have to watch what President or President about to be Trump is doing. And what he's doing right now, in addition to visiting the White House and chatting with soon-to-be ex-President Biden, he's gone about selecting people to work for him, his cabinet members and others. And the picks that Donald Trump is picking are not people who come with experience in the job. They're not people of great intelligence in my mind. They're not people who are qualified for the positions that he is selecting them. They're not people who have done great things for this country. They're nothing but lackeys and loyalists and ass-kissing people. Those are the people that Donald Trump is selecting to be his right-hand men and women. So his ongoing selection of these loyalists has just included Representative Matt Gates, the representative from Florida. Now, Gates is in trouble. He's being investigated in several ways for certain activity. But Gates is a loyalist. Gates will be willing to engage in Trump's conspiracy theories. And he will be intensely loyal to Trump if he becomes the Attorney General. And Gates would have oversight, and he could be tasked with getting rid of the federal investigation with, of Trump, the one that has the 34 count. Gates would be able to help the President use the Justice Department to investigate his political opponent. And Trump has proudly he said he would love to see Gates do that. And Trump has said he wants Gates in office to do that very thing. So who is Gates? Gates represents one of the most Republican congressional districts in the nation in Florida. It's in the Florida's western panhandle. And he was originally elected in 2016. That coincidentally happens to be the first year that President Trump won his election. And since then Gates has pushed all kinds of theories that are unfounded and border on the, the edge of insanity. Theories that Antifa was responsible for the January 6th attack on the Capitol. And he invited a Holocaust denier to the State of the Union address and called abortion rights protesters ugly people. Is this the kind of man that we want in the position of Attorney General? And last year he played a leading role in pushing Representative Kevin McCarthy out of the Speaker House job. And that took a month long for the Republicans to finally end up where they are right now with the Speaker. And then many have said, God press to find a more power perfect character than Gates for the work that Trump wants done. And he's proud to do this work. Very, very proud to be one of Trump's henchmen. And meanwhile, Gates had been under investigation for illegal sexual misconduct. 
So you have a bipartisan House Ethics Committee this year announcing that it was expanding all of its investigation into the allegations about Gates's so-called sexual misconduct, plus the use of drugs, except an improper gift. And this is the man that the incoming president picks to be attorney general? Is that not madness? Now, we all know that when a new president takes office, the Senate's primary job is to confirm or oppose the people that the president nominates to serve in key government roles. But Trump has told Republican senators that they need to step aside when he gets into office so that he can unilaterally select his leader. What is this? Is this a president or is it a dictator? Think about that. He doesn't want any of his picks challenge. And one of the great things about this democracy is that even though you are a president, and even though you have vast power, you still need approval on doing certain things. So we have to look closely at the way this new Senate behaves with respect to the actions of our upcoming president. We will be in deep shit if the Senate doesn't do its job, we know what President Trump is going to do. He's going to attempt to create one of the world's great dictatorships. And you can look at the list of people that he has selected for certain jobs, and you can shake your head about their political leanings and their experience to do those jobs. And the one place where something good might happen is the Senate using its oversight power. But I don't think that will happen because the Senate has too many Republicans in it. And they will be loyal to a president who really doesn't deserve to be president. So I am upset with this entire situation. And I don't know what the country is going to be like for the next four years. We'll have to wait and see. So keep your eyes open. Take care. Have a great day. Bye. Thank you.